And back with Spider-Man and Venom's encounter. Enter the sandstorm a death. Bring it. You didn't kill Harry this time, but in the movie you did. Here is a different story. You won't hurt anyone else, Brock. I'm ending this now. And this is it. The grand finale. before he kills me. Sound wave things. Just the wrong button! Shit! Oh! One more time. I had enough. That was a dumb way to kill Venom off, though.
just that Venom, no, he said he'd kill her if I didn't help him. I had no choice. Well, she's safe now. That's all that matters. This should be a happy ending. I beat the villain, brought a family back together, and got the girl. But it's not that easy. Being Spider-Man always comes with a price. And today that price was a steep one. What keeps me going are Uncle Ben's words. With great power comes great responsibility. In the end, people need heroes. As tough as it gets some days, I have to fight on. Maybe the best way to honor the people I love is to never stop being and that is the end of Spider-Man 3, the game. And after, and I know after when you finish the game, you get to play as the Black Suit Spider-Man whenever you want. That's cool. No need for credits. I know what happens. Now, since I finished Spider-Man 3, let's take a great look of me playing the black suit spider-man and one and unlocked if you wish to replay all missions with the black suit spider-man press x are you switch ready to switch yes well since the game is over i get to swing around new york whenever the fuck i want yay thanks for watching my walkthrough of playing spider-man 3 the game and i hope to see and I hope to uh, upload more uh, gameplay videos of other Spider-Man video games following this. Until next time, folks, when I get to do a walkthrough and review of Spider-Man Web of Shadows.